find a seat. Thank you. I need a room. This is for, some, for a mentor who just came out. I have been with Sorokins for 24 years. I was at another club in Pittsburgh where they gave shoes to kids for school. And then I, when I came to Oakland, I said, wow, that would be a good project for us to give to our, our school kids. And that's how we started. They adopted my classroom, and for the past 10 to 12 years, we have taken girls out uh, and participated in what we call the shoe program, Steps to Success. Where will these shoes take you? You have to have a goal, and the goal should be, where am I going next? And you need to walk to get there. At first, it wasn't budgeted, so we had to collect money from people. We spent our time begging all of our friends and our family to be able to pay for the event. And now our club has put us in their budget. We're budgeted for $4,000. My father's dragon. Is this the book you're gonna choose? Beautiful, do you know this book? No. We invite different women from the community to come in and discuss their jobs and their careers and how they came into doing those jobs. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with these lovely ladies who are going to tell you about their job and their profession. And this is something that one day maybe some of you can be, or you can do these same professions or jobs. What my job is, is opposed, as opposed to them, is they enforce people laws, right? So if you steal, they are the ones that would arrest you. Me, I enforce car laws. So if you do something bad in your car, I'm gonna take your car to jail. Or, <laughs> <laughs> there are, you know, women that are on the police force. There are women, not just of color, there's, white, you know, white women as well. And if you want to work for the police department, we welcome it. There are explorer programs when you guys get older, old enough, 16, um, where you guys can actually come down and take a look and maybe, you know, this might be a field that you want to work in if you really enjoy helping people. What I want you to do is raise your right knee up in the air. Fantastic. Now raise your left knee in the air. Fantastic. Now, can you make your arms so you have a 90 degree angle? And what I want you to think about is, can you move your opposite arm and your opposite leg? Yes! Look at that, right away, fantastic. So just real quick, high knees. Yes, good, and time. I love wearing sports clothes. I'll be 100% honest. This is my, this is what I wear. This is my professional gear for work, okay? Sports shoes. Track pants. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all this morning? Good. Basically what I do is I'm in charge of all 37,000, really 50,000 kids that are in our district that go to both um, public schools and charter schools. So it's a big job. Um, I'm responsible for essentially everything um, and making sure that every kid has a good experience. So it's a lot of responsibility. Um, but it's also a lot of fun. My name is Belen. I go to Brookfield Elementary School and I'm in fifth grade. And my question is, how was your experience growing up? Was it hard or was it easy? I had some good experiences and some not so good experiences in school. Um, but one of the things my grandmother taught me was to always try to look at every opportunity and experience with the glass half full, which means to see what can you learn from the experience, what's the positive, um, to try to be thankful and find the joy every day in what you do. And I have found that by taking on that kind of mindset, even when I have challenges, it helps me get through them. Who, like, got you to be superintendent? My first inspiration was my grandmother because she was the first in her family, in our family on my mother's side, to go to college. And she went to college at a time, um, even my great-grandmother, from the stories that I heard, really felt like you don't have a place to go to school because you're black, you're a woman, that's not your place. And she just didn't listen and decided to go to school anyway. Um, so she was my hugest inspiration, which was to believe in yourself, which is what we want all of you all to do. I went to school for about a year. After a year, I got a license. And once you get a license, it takes you about five years to become really good at whatever you choose to do. You could do braids, you could do locks, you can do extensions. And those are specialty services. You can work in spas, resorts, you can work abroad. 
You might want to do it on a ship and travel the world, but there are a lot of options when you become a cosmetologist. So you're thinking, what do you, what do, you do? This bridge is already built, you know? What do you, what do you engineer? Well, someone's got to maintain this bridge. This is over 80 years old. And sometimes, you know, it needs a little love. So, engineers sometimes have to go out and check the bridge and make sure it's safe for everyone to use. So can everyone see this picture of me? What am I doing? I'm walking down the cables of the bridge. Can you see that? That's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of, yeah. So I have to have a harness. You get trained on how to use a harness and you had to clip onto the cable so you can walk on it. And in case you fall, you have something that's gonna grab on and help you. Ladies, please think about this as a career because we have about 30 engineers and inspectors. Only two of us are women. So I come join me. <laughs> so this is my equipment. One of you wanna try on my helmet? You wanna go for it? You gonna mess up your ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can do it. It won't hurt. So I want you guys to see. I have to put this equipment on every time I go in the building. If it's a little heavy, you can take it off, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna put on my jacket. That's why you came up, come on. <laughs> it's big and heavy, isn't it? By the time I put on all my gear, how much you think it weighs? Close, you're right. It's close to 60 pounds. <laughs> They're only going to go so high because I'm taller than her. Put your arms through. There you go. So that's, that's my uniform. And this is what I look like when I come in. Please don't run from me. When you go home, really, go talk to your parents and ask them, what do we do if we have a fire? All right, ladies, can we give all of our mentors a big round of applause? Thank you! So what is the plan? Grab the book in. Everybody on the same page? One book in, two dials, two of these. We got it? So this is the third year I've volunteered for them, and this year we're teaching them how to make bookends. And the bookends are going to be in... Uh, three tiers on each side, and each one of the tiers represents a part of their life where they are today. So if they're in elementary school or middle school, then where do they plan on going from there? You're gonna complete high school, go to college, get a career, an advanced degree, travel. So we're trying to set it, put a visual to what they would like to do in the future. My unit, the Carpenters Local 713 donated $500 so we can purchase the materials, as well as some power tools so we can teach them how to build. And what you gonna do is apply pressure. Push it in. Okay, good. So you're going to be straight. Now go. Mom, you guys six period. I need a line because I'm gonna measure everyone, okay? I size three. All the way to the back. We give each girl two pair of shoes. We, hopefully you'll get a dress pair and then you'll get a, a, a school pair. But the girls have been branching out and getting purses and jewelry. We had three teachers and the teachers really feel strongly and so do we that we need young women to know about budgeting. We tell them you have $40 to spend and you have to stay within your budget. And if nothing else, this event should teach you how to add. Stop it, that's too big. If you got two pairs of shoes, how much money is that per shoe? Twenty. Twenty dollars per shoe. Yeah. Or could you get four pairs of shoes? Yeah. How much would that be? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Oh, what? No. Here we go. Ten dollars for each <laughs> pair of shoes. This is what I ask. Buy at least oh. one pair of shoes, and then if you see some socks or some jewelry or some hair accessories, you can do that too, or a purse. I wonder how much it would be, $8.99 plus $16.99, how much would that be? That is so far 26 something. 24. 24 something. That's like 26 something in tax. We want them to understand about economy, and if you don't have the money, you can't have it. I hope we taught them that today, because in life, no one is going to pay. You have to figure it out and stay within your budget. You have to earn everything you get. And the way they've earned it is by coming to school, 
doing well in their class, doing the best they can with their peers. This is your, your prize for, for being a good person. That's what we wanted them to know. Hers oh, but pink. the high tops. Oh, I love yeah. those too. Very cool. Their teacher, Yatera, also has worked really hard to teach them about giving of themselves. And that's what we wanted to do, to show them that there are at least 24 members in our club who really care about them. Okay, now make your line, use your line. Come on, here.